What is going on YouTube? Hey, Mac making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, specifically, what we need to look at in today's video is actually a few new discoveries that we found in yesterday's episode here. Potential bull flag formations here forming on XRP's four hour charts, as well as potentially Ethereum, Bitcoin, finally starting to see some positive, you know, volume in the market that could or could not set us up even higher. We'll see how it goes in the next coming days. Maybe even today, we'll get that answer. Um, we're also going to be looking at the S&P 500, which I'm hoping, fingers crossed, has bottomed because if it has, that would ultimately lead to some very positive movements to the upside here. You can already see it's 931 as the time I'm recording this. We've already gotten our green candle wick right here. This is the first of hopefully many that would ideally lead us to be moving to the upside here. The goal is that we start to see a reversal up to here, whether or not that involves consolidating like that, or if we just break off that, ideally that's what we're looking for here. But I do believe long-term we are starting to head back to the upside here, which is exciting for me. We're wrapping up September, which has been notorious for being bearish every single year. Historically, the historical performance has been bearish every single year. So ideally, the goal here is that we continue to move to the upside moving forward in the next coming days into the next coming months. October, November, December should be bullish for the S&P 500, as well as cryptocurrency. Now, with all of that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, as you can see, I made a video yesterday basically saying, I hope you're seeing this. Could this be another kind of bull flag formation here? Uh, as you can see, there is a four hour bull flag formation here. It don't get any more bull flaggy than that. You can see bull flag formation. A bull flag looks like this. Clear as day here. This is what a bull flag would appear like had you have seen one in the market. And if we look at yesterday's you know, thumbnail here, it is clear as day that that is exactly what is forming and taking over here. So pretty interesting if you ask me. I think likely that that is what is actually forming here. And I think it's a bullish sign that we are going to see some potential movements to the upside in the very near future. Now, obviously, that gives us opportunity to set up some four hour trades as well as, you know, short term aggressive trades, just a lot of stuff all in all, which is definitely a good sign. Now, as you guys can see, top 10 cryptocurrencies, we are consolidating, but we are slowly starting to move up. We had about 0.02 uh, trillion enter the market here from 0 0.04 yesterday, up about 1.8%. You can see overall markets are pretty much consolidating. Not really seeing much, but over the last seven days, we are starting to slide up, which is definitely a good sign. Oh, pretty much over, sorry, the last couple of hours we're starting to see a reversal right now but it's really it's nothing to write home about because they're practically flatlined out for the most part uh, for most of these major cryptos but to focus in on XRP looking at the daily I mean there's definitely I'm going to start with the four hour and jump to the daily here so there are uh, a few opportunities here we have long term and short term short term we have this four hour bull flag here you can see here's the flag pull here's the actual flag itself and this ideally has a bullish uh, textbook bullish pattern here. So ideally, we're looking and trying to track a bullish run to the upside afterwards here. So this is what we're looking for to see happen afterwards here. Now, ideally, that's the goal. Now, this is a very aggressive short term possible uh, bull run or not what I wanted to delete. You can see possible bull run that we can see here. It's a very short term one. So even if we see a run like this, we're talking about 50 cents to 54 cents. It's very small, but it is still an opportunity to leverage off this. And now it depends on how you want to look at this. I I think ideally the size of this run should be the size of the, the breakout. So this, if we extend that here, we should see ideally up to 55 cents here. So there's plenty of opportunity to capitalize on this. Now, as a four hour trader, if you're going to trade aggressive, you know, you could wait maybe moderately if we, if we get right about here would be that moderate trade. If we get above here, that's more of a conservative trade. I don't think there's any, so it would definitely be ag aggressive and, uh, and moderate here because it is a four hour trade and it is still extremely risky, but obviously we do all these trades on bid which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. For those that don't know, bid is pretty much my favorite all time exchange that I've been using for over two and a half years. Now they've been incredible. Uh, there's definitely some updates that they are in the process of doing. So just 
Bear that in mind. They did have a demo account. They will be re-adding the demo account probably in the next coming weeks here. They're kind of slow with uh, their timing. They give me bad timings, uh, but ideally... It is going to be re-added very soon. I've been in touch with their marketing, uh, with their marketing manager, so it is coming, and they haven't forgotten about it. They're just making some nice re uh, renovations to it, so keep that in mind. But the reason I like BidFi so much is the fact that they have XRP to leverage trade here. That's pretty much it. Not many exchanges offer that, and the ones that do, I'm really not a fan of here. So the fact that XRP is offered to leverage trade here is absolutely incredible. So that means when we do see that buy-in opportunity on this bull flag formation here, what I'm going to do is set up a, you know. A, a slightly aggressive trade. It is aggressive trading on the four hour, but we'll be able to offer, you know, we'll have leverage depending on how much leverage you want to use on um, on XRP. They have market orders, stop limit orders, super cool. They have pretty much everything you could possibly think of and want on here. They even have a take profit and stop loss that you can set up right here in order to make sure that you are not getting, you know, screwed when you do buy in. Just, you know, to set up those boundaries and those support and lifelines there. So definitely make sure to check them out. They do offer up to $2,000 $1,888 completely free by signing up with that link down in the description below. Completely free to sign up, completely free. Um, to take advantage of the $2,888 they're giving away in rewards. You get 14 ways to claim it here. New user tasks as well as advanced tasks. So make sure to check that out down in the description below. And for those wondering, you literally click USDT to M and then you click right here on Bitcoin. You type XRP and then sorry, you type XRP and then right here you have the XRP chart to leverage trade. I don't like looking at the basic version. I go over to the trading view version right here and then you can get a better kind of overview and look here and you can always tweak this chart, change it to how you'd like to see it here. There's tons of different ways. I, I don't want to do it right now on here, but there's definitely a way to tweak this to make this look a little bit more, uh, you know, similar to the Ethereum and to the XRP trading view charts we have here. But moving forward from that, looking at Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the rest of the cryptos, I've been saying for a very long time, we have definitely bottomed out and these cryptos are at a low point here. And we are definitely due for that running reversal back up to, uh, you know, the moving average and then moving even higher here. So you can see with this drop, this subtle drop here, finding its bottom support, we are definitely heading upwards. At some point or another, we are definitely heading upwards. We've been undervalued off a major cliff fall for the longest time here. And that is not a, you know, consistent thing here. This is, you know, we, we've seen major drops like this in the markets in the past year, and they don't really stick around that long. At some point, we are going to be declared undervalued, as I strongly believe we currently are. And we are going to move back up to neutral levels here, which is at this point up to moving average. So, you know, sooner than later, if not already, we are going to be seeing some movement back to moving average here. I believe that is coming for Ethereum. I believe it is definitely coming for XRP. No, I forgot to say that was XRP short term. Long term, you can see the obvious trend of bull flag formations here. The first one, the second one, the third one, and here is the fourth one forming that ideally... We're looking to move up to moving average and then pump even higher. That is the realistic long-term goal of XRP, and I'm very bullish on all of them. I think October, November, December is going to be incredibly well. And if you don't have positions or some stuff in here, you might lose out. You know, that's my opinion here. Same thing with this. We have a descending fractal here, a stair-stepping pattern, which is screaming bullish here, undervalued. Below Bitcoin's moving average here, we are definitely due to see a movement up to here and then definitely due to see a movement up even higher. We are back at the bottom here. It is just any day now we are going to see that run. Same thing with the S&P 500. I mean, it is very possible we could drop in. I'd be shocked. Uh, well, yeah, it would be annoying. I'd be kind of shocked here. Granted, it would still be consistent with the higher lows. Even if we did fall to here, it would still be fine. And then I would 100% be picking stuff up here. But the likelihood that it goes that low seems a bit slim because you can see every time it's oversold, last time it was oversold, it's right here. So the likelihood we go even lower, I don't think it would happen this very second. I don't think it's going to do that. More so, we'd have to move up and then move down, something like that. And I think this would probably be the lowest point, if not this, the lowest point we move to before heading up even higher. But ideally... I think that's it. And then I think we're going to we're gonna pump up. I don't think we're going to be hanging out below moving average that much longer. But that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. So definitely make sure to smash the like button if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.